Okay, let's take a look at your equipment bench. Each bench has six pieces of equipment, and today you'll work with the triple DC power supply. That's for generating voltage and current. And you're also going to work with the digital multimeter for measuring resistance, voltage, and current. We often refer to the multimeter as the DMM for short. Notice there are two DMMs on your bench. Now if you want to use the equipment, you need to get proficient at how to set it up and use it for the various functions. You need to watch the how-to videos that, to uh, learn how to set up each of these pieces. For the first part of the lab, you're going to take the 16 resistors that are in your part kit. Uh, record the nominal value by decoding the color code. Uh, you'll, you can review the how to read the resistor code video to do this. Then in uh, part 2.2, you're going to set up the DMM as an ohmmeter, and you're going to make measurements of the resistance of each of the resistors. Record your data in the lab book, and you'll use these for a future lab, so make sure you make a neat and careful recording of the data. In part 2.3, you will quote ohm the ammeter. This is a procedure that we use to confirm that the internal fuse of your ammeter is still good. Occasionally the fuse will blow if the ammeter is set up incorrectly, which is common, so we're just going to double check that they are working correctly before we trust the measurements. Set the DMM on the left to measure resistance, and set the DMM on the right to measure current. Notice that you have to connect the red lead to the bottom terminal on the meter on the right to set it up in the ammeter mode. Now we connect the ohmmeter to the ammeter in series. That is, we connect the red leads together and the black leads together. You'll use the meter on the left to measure the internal resistance of the ammeter, which is the meter on the right. If the value is around 5 ohms, then the ammeter, the meter on the right, is working properly. To check the ammeter on the left, just reverse the settings. Now you're going to record these values in your lab book and you're ready to make measurements. In part 2.4, you're going to set up a simple circuit with a voltage supply in series with a resistor. You will then use the DMM to measure voltage across the resistor. Notice that the voltmeter is connected in parallel to the resistor. And you can use the second DMM to measure current through the resistor. Notice the ammeter is connected in series. To do this, first set up the power supply. You're going to use the plus 6 terminals. Set the display limit to 5 volts and limit the current to 100 milliamps. Leave the output off until you're finished connecting your circuit. Set one DMM to operate as an ammeter and set this in series with the power supply. Set the other DMM to measure DC volts and put that in parallel across the resistor. Once you've got the circuit set up, turn the output on for the power supply and then you'll be able to record your data in your lab book. Compute the power and perform the error analysis. All your data should be neatly organized in a data table when you're finished. In the next part, 2.6, you should plot your data in your lab book. You can sketch the plot by hand, or you can use a computer to create the plots. In both cases, you will need to follow the ECE writing standards. That is, review section 9 in the lab manual preface for these details. Again, you can choose to sketch it by hand or plot it with a computer, but you should have, in both cases, a clear descriptive title, the axes should be labeled, the plot should be at least half a page big, and you should be able to see your data points clearly with a smoothly connecting line between them. In the last part of the lab, section 2.7, you will learn how to use the 25 volt dual power supply. The DC power supply will allow you to set up three different sources at the same time, but they're not completely independent. The dual power supply must have a common reference point. That's marked by the common point, or COM. 
Re remember, voltage potential is always a difference between two points. So think about a scenario where you're climbing a long stairwell. You can go up the stairs, down the stairs. Arbitrarily, just set one point, we'll call that COM, uh, to one, one level in the stairwell. Then think about climbing up 15 steps. That's equivalent to a voltage rise. Now, starting at your reference point, climb down 15 stairs. That's a voltage drop. Now think about starting at the bottom, climbing up 15 steps, you're at the comm point, then climb another 15 steps, that's a rise, a total voltage rise of 30 volts. So you, what you'll do is you're going to follow the instructions in your lab book to set up the dual power supply and make the measurements that are asked for in the lab. Make sure you know how to set up the dual power supply because you'll have to do this in future labs. And it's a good idea to make some notes for yourselves so that you remember schematically how to represent what you just measured. Now for your pre-lab work. First of all, you should get a lab book from the bookstore. And then you should set it up according to the instructions in the preface material. First of all, the first page will be the title for your lab book. The second page should be the table of contents. Make sure you number all of the pages. And then on the third page, you're going to start with a lab title page. Then you're going to record the circuit of figure 2, create a data table of the resistor values listed in section 1.3, then you're going to predict the value of voltage and current that you will measure according to circuit of figure 2 and the work that you're planning to do in section 2.3 and 2.4. And that's it. Good luck in lab.